Thomas Schumacher will discuss the need for sustainable engineering in a technology-dominant society. What I have come to realize is that the, the way we are currently educating engineers, the way I have been educated, is maybe not so appropriate anymore to really provide solutions for this uh, world, to make this world a better place. So one thing we could do is start talking or bringing back into our curriculum the idea of assessment of technology. What is its relevance to poverty? What does it do to the mental and spiritual health of humanity? What does it do to living nature around us? And what is its relevance to energy and non-renewable raw materials? So what is a sustainable engineer? He should think in terms of systems. The sustainable engineer should think long term about what his or her solution will do to people and nature. The sustainable engineer should recognize the broader context. If this also comes an understanding of how the rest of the world works. The last one, he should take leadership. So sustainability should be a way of thinking, a life philosophy, different from a reductionist view. We do teach critical thinking, but not at the level that I think is necessary in the context of sustainability. Practicing communicating these technical aspects to a broad, non-technical audience is critical. This could be fostered by an interdisciplinary course at some point in the curriculum. So basically, there should be a commitment to create solutions that are locally good and don't have any negative consequences somewhere else where we don't see them. So study abroad or engineers without borders are excellent opportunities to and have a chance to give the students a chance to look at things from a different perspective. Thank <laughs> you.